electrical engineers, technicians, hobbyists, and auto mechanics use oscilloscopes to view waveforms. Oscilloscopes are the tool that allows them to actually see what's going on. Hello, my name is Ron Z. This unboxing, review, and tutorial is for an OSC-482F USB oscilloscope received free from Loto Instruments for evaluation. The OSC-482 is a two-channel USB oscilloscope and data logger. According to the specs, max sampling rate is 50 mega samples per second, shared, and sine wave bandwidth is 20 megahertz at minus 3 dB. A shared sampling rate means it's divided across all the logic and oscilloscope channels. Channel A and B input sensitivity goes from 20 millivolts per division to 2 volts volts per division in seven ranges. Input impedance is one mega ohm. Over voltage protection is plus or minus 60 volts with the one time probe, plus or minus 600 volts with a 10 times probe. To be extra safe, I'd never exceed 120 volts. Scope size is 6 by 3.7 by 0 0.9 inches, 153 by 93 by 23 millimeters. Weight is 7 ounces, 198 grams. The OSC-482 is Lodo's entry-level scope. Lodo offers other models with higher sampling rates, bandwidths, and different options. They are priced accordingly. For example, their OSCH-02 model has 1 gig sampling and 100 meg bandwidth. Operationally, all Lodo scopes work similarly, are value priced, and in my opinion, are a good deal. This introductory presentation gives you the flavor of Lodo's USB oscilloscope product line. The Lodo software user interface simulates a real digital hardware oscilloscope. On my laptop's display, when I click on the OSC-482 oscilloscope icon, a virtual oscilloscope appears with realistic on-screen control knobs and switches. To turn on the scope, click the blue Start Device button at the bottom right-hand corner. Lodo's user interface is slick and runs smoothly without lags or glitches. Lodo software seems better than whatever is included with other USB oscilloscopes in its price range. Time-based controls are at the top right. There is a common time scale for both channels. Manually adjust the time knob setting by clicking a setting with the cursor, 50 nanoseconds per division to 2 seconds per division. Or select from one of 16 drop-down values, 1 millisecond to 25 seconds. Or move a slider with your mouse. The easiest way, and the one usually used, is to simply click the Auto Set button. Channel A and B each have their own virtual voltage knobs. Settings go from 50 millivolts to 2 volts per division. Either AC or DC coupling can be selected. Hardware-based AC coupling is not usually included in devices at this price. The input range with the one-time probe is plus or minus 5 volts. For the 10 times probe, plus or minus 50 volts. Either channel can be disabled. Triggering is from channel A. Trigger edges and levels are adjustable. Single shot events at a high sample rate can be captured. The single trigger button can capture accidental events such as glitches with sudden changes in waveform amplitude. OSC-482 triggering is implemented with software. Some Lodo models employ hardware triggering. Deep memory allows buffer scrolling. The PC cache function can store 500 frames of hardware cache data in the computer memory. That's convenient for backtracking and historical viewing. The PC cache window displays the waveform for a period before and after the trigger. Pre-trigger capture is 50% of capture size. 
The memory buffer window on the lower right shows the position of the waveform data currently being displayed on the screen related to the size of the entire data buffer. With the mouse, you can drag the slider left and right through the whole data buffer to see the entire waveform that was captured. Click the Stop Device button on the lower right and move the slider below the PC cache window. Ruler time and voltage measurements can also be made by moving the cursor to various points on the waveform. Automatic measurements are displayed at the bottom of the screen for both channels. Maximum, peak-to-peak -peak voltages, frequency, average voltage, period, positive pulse width, negative pulse width, duty rate, rise time, and VRMS, root mean square voltage. There are also channel mathematics and a 1024-point FFT fast Fourier transform. Using channel mathematics, the two channels can be plotted against one another, same as in a physical real scope, with one channel plotted on x-axis, the other channel plotted on y-axis. Lissajous curves on the screen show the frequency and phase relation of the signals. Text, CSV, and graphic files can be saved. Grid lines can be displayed or hidden. A record button saves waveforms as MPEG files, which can be shared via email. Windows PC Paperless Recorder Data Logger software permits the two channels of data to be logged continuously for up to 72 hours. You set the interval and duration. The compact case is made of aluminum and blue plastic. There are rubber bumpers at the front and rear. On the front are two BNC connectors and a VGA connector. On the back are a USB connector, red power, and green status LEDs. Don't mess with the small reset hole. It's for Lodo factory use only. All the controls are set via the Windows and Android software. The scope has an 8 to 13 bit vertical resolution. It uses an 8 bit ADC analog to digital converter for each channel. This virtual oscilloscope device draws power strictly from a USB port. No other power supply is required. Power consumption is 5 volts at around 250 milliamps. On a laptop, the device connects to a USB 2 Plus port for data and power. On my test bench, the OSC482F is connected to a laptop via a USB 3 port on a dock. When mobile, I connect the scope directly to my laptop via a USB 3 port. Android operation requires USB OTG on the go support because the phone's battery also powers the USB oscilloscope. On the OSC482 front panel, there is a 15-pin connector, VGA style, D sub DE15. With this open source expansion interface, plugin modules can add logic analyzer, function generator, and other capabilities. It's used to connect the 6 probe L02 logic analyzer. It's also where you plug in the S02 signal generator board and other expansion accessory modules. An isolated differential module, IDM01, is separately available to measure hot ground and high voltage. An L02 logic analyzer module is included in the OSC482F package. It's a six-channel logic analyzer module for use with 3-volt TTL, transistor-transistor logic circuits. Voltage levels are binary. 2 to 3.3 volts is considered a 1. Voltages below 0 0.8 volts are 0. This logic analyzer module is handy when debugging Arduino, Raspberry Pi, microprocessor, and logic design projects. Usually, low-end standalone scopes don't include a logic analyzer function.
The SC02 signal function generator module is also included. It's a one-channel signal generator which produces sine, triangle, and square waveforms from 1 hertz to 13 megahertz. Output level is plus or minus 4 volts. Two manual control knobs on the module set amplitude and offset. Various LOTO instruments, USB oscilloscope models and configurations are available on Amazon, eBay, Newegg, Alibaba, AliExpress, Banggood, etc. Links to the LOTO instruments Amazon store and the OSC482F scope are below this video. LOTO instruments USB oscilloscopes come in a variety of models. The LOTO instruments pricing list is included in this presentation. As an electrical engineer, circuit designer, and electronic hobbyist, I've used oscilloscopes most of my life. Over the years, I've witnessed big technology changes in oscilloscope design. Back in the day, professional oscilloscopes were bulky, heavy, and expensive. Scopes actually came mounted on carts with wheels so they could be pushed around the lab. Imagine one of these old oscilloscopes in a supermarket shopping cart. That's a far cry from the very compact and portable USB oscilloscopes reviewed here. Aside from the OSC 482F, I own two other oscilloscopes, an analog scope and a digital sampling scope. The analog scope, which was on my test bench, had been in service a long time. It's vacuum tube based and recently began having age-related issues. Apparently, lots of electrolytic and paper capacitors need replacing. The expense of purchasing new capacitors at retail prices and then spending soldering time swapping each of them out one by one was not cost effective and made replacing the analog scope an appealing option. When I looked into possible replacements, USB oscilloscopes were attractive because they save money by using a laptop's display, logic, power supply, and battery. I like that it's cost effective and using components already in my laptop. Why spend money on a dedicated scope if your laptop can be used for many functions? So my analog scope was replaced with Lodo's OSC482F, which turned out to be a good decision, and it worked out better than expected. While it's not equivalent to a high-end oscilloscope, it's convenient and good enough for most of the situations I encounter. I use it more often than my 6 gigahertz scope. A laptop was already at my workstation. The OSC 482 is very compact, lightweight, and portable. It takes up little disk space and has a very small footprint, whether it's standing up vertically or lying down flat. When I'm mobile and making calls, it's stored in my laptop bag. It goes with my laptop. Both fit into the same case. Even when I'm not bringing a laptop, the OSC 482 still goes with me because it works with my Android smartphone. So now, I can always take a basic scope along with me. It's become my new daily driver. Plus, the OSC 482 is functionally integrated with my laptop, providing data analysis capabilities that I never had before, like waveform recording and playback, saving and emailing results as media or spreadsheet files, and easily printing results. The included logic analyzer and signal function generator modules frequently come in handy. This oscilloscope is ideal for electrical engineering students and hobbyists. It took two weeks for my scope to ship from China to New York City, USA. Lodo Instruments gave the package to a Chinese shipping company. About a week later, the package arrived in Los Angeles, California, USA. There it was transferred to FedEx Smart Post. The last leg of the trip and delivery were handled by the U.S. Postal Service. In the unboxing video, you'll see me fumbling with the package, trying to figure out how to open it. The OSC 482F was packed carefully in three layers of bubble wrap. Delivery guys usually ring my doorbell. This time I learned of the delivery by hearing a loud crash against my metal front door. To save effort, the delivery man did not walk up my front steps. Instead, he threw the package about 12 feet like a football. It hit my front door and landed on the cement porch. 
Wow. Fortunately, the only issue was one screw had fallen off the logic probe connector. In the video, you'll see me fastening it back on. Thanks to good packaging, the scope survived undamaged, despite having been thrown like a football. There are two included oscilloscope probes, switchable between one time and ten time. They have BNC connectors, retractable hook tips, detachable alligator clip ground leads, compensation adjustments, protected tips, and identification color marker rings. A small calibration adjustment screwdriver tool is included. For probe calibration, pin 6 on the DE15 connector provides a 1 kHz, 1.5 volt square wave. Alternately, the S02 signal generator can provide a calibration signal. A comprehensive, well-written software user's manual is available as an 88-page PDF file. Pictures of the cover and index pages are included in the video. Documentation and software are downloadable from the Lodo Instruments website as compressed RAR files. Lodo provides Windows and Android application software absolutely free. My laptops run the latest versions of Windows 10. Lodo's Windows application did not need an installer, admin privilege, or special drivers. It requires Microsoft Net Framework 2.0, which is normally already included and installed within Windows 10. I just uncompressed the oscilloscope and data logger RAR files using 7-zip freeware. Save these two folders on my laptop and made shortcuts on my desktop. The Android software, which Lodo provides free with the OSC 482F, is similar to the paid version of the Android HScope app, which is also compatible with this device. HScope has a limited one-channel free version, a paid two-channel version, and an automotive module. Lodo includes a two-channel, full-featured Android app as a free bonus with the OSC 482F. I downloaded, uncompressed the RAR file with the free Explore app, then clicked on the APK file to install the Lodo OSC app on an inexpensive UmiDigi smartphone. Lodo includes two USB OTG adapters with the scope, a micro USB-A male to USB-A female, and a micro USB-C male to USB-A female. My smartphone has a micro USB-C connector, so I used the micro USB-C male to USB-A female adapter. The Lodo Android software works well on my $100 YumiDigi smartphone. On a smartphone or tablet, tap the Lodo OSC icon. An oscilloscope screen pops up in landscape mode. Tap the 3D box submenu icon for FFT, XY plot, math, logger, and digital logic analyzer. Tap the camera icon to share screenshots by email, Bluetooth, Google Drive, etc. Tap the gear icon for system info. Loto USB Oscilloscopes has an active Facebook community where software updates are announced and there are tech support discussions. A while back, the Loto team separated from Rocktech and became independent. Scopes were also marketed under the same smart logo. Thanks to this scope's design having been around a while, it's been thoroughly field tested. The current software works beautifully. An engineer at Loto Instruments posted many detailed technical videos on his YouTube channel. They show how to use this USB oscilloscope. Most of these videos are in Chinese, some have English subtitles, a few have English voiceovers. For English language speakers, watching these videos can be tedious, requiring patience and commitment. That's probably why his channel doesn't have more subscribers and the videos have not gotten the attention they deserve. 
If requested, an idea is to post a beginner's operations guide in English on YouTube showing how Loto USB oscilloscopes can be used for common measurements. I hope you found my presentation enjoyable and helpful. Channel subscribers will receive notifications as new Loto USB virtual instrument product reviews are posted. Goodbye for now and good luck.